Yo, was geht up? This is Max Berger and in this video we'll be talking about how to find your purpose and your passion, okay? This is especially important if you're watching this, you're not 100% sure yet what you want to be doing for the rest of your life, you feel a little uncertain, unsure and you want to find a certain path to know exactly what you want to be doing with your life. I'm gonna give you specific step-by-step -step instructions. I'm gonna put anecdotes of me and my personal clients in there. It's gonna be very interesting for you to watch. It's a little bit of a longer ranty video, but you sure as hell will enjoy it and will get value from that. So that being said, let's crack right into it. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead-end nine-to-five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money, and just enjoying life? My name is Max Berger and I've attained that freedom. No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. It's actually one of the most common questions I get is like, how do I find my purpose? How do I find my passion? I, I don't know what I want to do, you know? I know that I want to become an entrepreneur. I know I want to build a business. But in what? And, and what? And, and I don't know. And, and I feel like many people just feel so lost they don't know what what really excites them and I think a, a reason why that is is because of perfectionism okay really you can you can write that down we'll have it sh shown on the screen right now perfectionism we all think that we need to have the perfect idea uh, we need to have this perfect thing that we're absolutely passionate about that we love doing no matter what for the rest of our lives and and only then only then we make the decision and we carve it in stone and then that's the business that we're gonna be operating in, you know? But the problem is with that perfectionism is that it results in just an infinite loop of waiting. Because, because people think like everything needs to be perfect, everything needs to feel like it's the exact right choice. And then what happens is they just sit around doing nothing, just derping around in a, in a job that kind of sustains them but doesn't make them super happy. Um, they have hobbies, you know, they derp around playing Xbox, drinking out with their friends, waiting to be kissed by the godly muse to feel like this is the idea. But at the end of the day, uh, thank you very much, but at the end of the day, you can't really, you can't really feel passionate about something unless, unless you do something, right? So again, it's first you have this weird perfectionism about everything, then you're in this infinite loop of waiting, and then that leads to uh, stagnant momentum. You know, you can't build momentum because you're not doing anything. So you build negative momentum of being stagnant, of, of you know, uh, objects in motion want to stay in motion and objects that are stagnant want to remain stagnant, right? But what is it? Third, third, third Newton's law? I don't even know. So that just leads to this like infinite loop of not doing anything and just waiting. And um, I'm, I'm always seeing it as an example of, of my own clients and freedom business mentoring, but also my, my own personal example. I would have never thought I'd ended up with any of the things that I'm doing now. Hell, I even thought I'd never want to do that. I, the furthest thing from my reality, fun enough, was to become an entrepreneur. This is the furthest thing away from my reality. I thought like, this is way too much responsibility, derp, I don't know, I don't know nothing about the market. Like, even like hearing someone say words like the market or revenue, it sounded so boring and dry to me. I'm like, huh, I don't want to do that. And and now I'm, I, you know, I, I own several businesses, and I and uh, and I love it. And it's one of the things I'm most passionate about. I dream about this. And um, before that, I was a dating coach. You know, before I built a business around me being a dating coach. And I never, I always thought these dating coaches are creepy and weird. You know, <laughs> they like come into a crowd like, hey, what's up, guys? You know, and lo and behold, I'm now that guy who goes in front of a crowd like, let's get up. You know, and, <laughs> and I'm all like hyper. You know. And I never thought I would do that because I never thought it was interesting for me. But guess what? I tried it and, and I got hooked. I'm like, this is interesting. And then, you know, you go around certain corners and it, you get hooked more and more and more and more. You know, when I, when I was 20 years old, all I really wanted to do was drink beer, watch Simpsons, uh, play video games, uh, and really not do anything. And maybe go out with my friends and get drunk, you know, like that was, well, that's drinking beer, basically, yeah. and listen to metal. That was all I ever wanted. And then, oh, and, and one thing I was passionate about, though, was uh, playing guitar. And here's the interesting thing. We're going to gonna talk about this later. Actually, let's talk about it now. I didn't know what motivated me. This is, this is interesting. So the only thing I was passionate about was playing guitar because I wanted to be a rock star. That was literally like, I wanted, that was my dream. Okay, I want to be a rock star, have, have, have a lot of money, and have a lot of people listening to what I'm playing. And, and I thought the part of being a rock star made it so enticing for me because I like music. But as I later found out, the thing that actually motivated me 
was not the music aspect, it was the aspect that I could reach other people and inspire other people. And the aspect of being free and doing whatever I want. So it was really those aspects that, that were really interesting for me uh, in, in terms of becoming a rock star. And later on when I started uh, traveling as a dating coach, I realized this fulfills me so much because it's the exact same things that were so enticing about being a rock star. I was touring the world, I was seeing the world, I was free, I could do whatever I wanted, more or less, and I could inspire people, maybe not with what I sing or what I play, but with what I say. And I still had crowds and I was quote unquote performing and I, was, uh, I could inspire people and in turn be inspired back and there was a lot of exchange of energy. So I realized this is interesting. This is really fulfilling on a much deeper level than I would have ever thought. But the important thing was I had to go and try it, right? Because like I said before, I never thought being a dating coach was interesting. You know, I never thought this was something that I, that I want to do. I always thought like, this is boring. This is weird. But then I did it and I realized, oh, there's a lot of aspects about this that motivate me, that drive me. And that is why I thought that was very, very interesting. And again, the underlying lesson of this is that I had to go and do it, okay? And it was not the perfect choice for me. I didn't think like being the dating coach is the perfect one-on-one -on -one thing that exactly I wanna do. It's 100 out of 100, no, not at all. But I grew into it and I started liking it. And on top of that, you know, people started looking up to me and I liked it, you know, it was obviously ego gratification, no doubt about that. But I liked it and then you start making money and then you like it even more. And I get this a lot from clients in my free business mentoring group they start out and they're like, I'm not sure if I'm passionate about that, but then they get the first client and I'm like, I had a call with the client and I really helped the client and, and I even got paid for that and I feel really good. So you see like you develop a passion for many things once you're successful at that. Nobody develops a passion for something that they suck at, very rare, you know? But if you get better at it and you can see that you can actually help people, that's where it's interesting. And all of a sudden people do develop a passion. They do develop a purpose in their life because they are out doing things, right? So instead of having this perfectionism that brings you to infinite loop of doing nothing, that brings you then to this uh, uh, momentum of stagnation, instead what you should do is understand that nothing lasts forever, okay? You don't need to find the perfect thing right off the bat uh, because nothing lasts forever anyway. Uh, you might find one thing, you're really passionate about that, you transition through it, uh, and after a couple of years, you organically grow into something else. That is just the organic evolution of that one thing that you did. And, you, and while you're doing that, you hone your craft and you're doing things and you're building momentum of doing things and you see the underlying structure of building one business, you start making money, you start helping people and then you organically grow into the next thing, right? So that is much better, understanding that nothing lasts forever, things won't ever be perfect, uh, go with one thing and then once you do things, you start developing a passion for that and that brings you then closer to your ultimate goal. So just like I always thought I want to be a rock star, it then changed to, oh, the dating coaching thing actually motivates me just as much because of the same motivations behind it. And out of that, I understood, I also like the structure building and the team building aspect around that and the reaching people and the brand building, which then organically made me grow into uh, uh, doing business. And after that, also business consulting. And, and again, like, these are all things that I always thought I would despise, I would hate, but because I started doing things and because I understood that I don't need to make the perfect choice right away, that then helped me to understand that this is indeed my, pur my purpose, my passion. And again, nothing lasts forever, so ask me again in three, four, five, six years, maybe I will have organically grown into the next level and I'll do something else. And uh, again, that's why I think it's just crucial to go out and try things. And as you're trying things, get really good at that because that builds up momentum. And as you get really good at that, you start making money. If you have a proper mentor who helps you monetize certain things, now you're making money. So it's not like you're waiting, sitting around, not making money and just getting negative momentum. No, you're doing things, you get good at that, you build up momentum, you learn track records, habits that make you successful. And at the same time, you're getting paid already. So you're basically getting paid to find your purpose. And that is how to find your purpose. So at the end of the day, this world is so full of opportunity. It's insane, like this world, there's people out there who are willing to help you. There's people out there who are willing to pay you. There's books to be read, experiences to be had, people to be helped. There's so many things out there literally waiting for you. It's literally globalization. You have your phones, you have internet, you have free Wi-Fi everywhere. This world is so full of opportunity, but it's only, and this is the really important key, it's only there for someone who takes action. 
and you can literally ask ask anybody that is that is a hater, that is negative, that is lazy, that is unwilling to change. They'll all sit on their couch saying, "This world sucks. It's unfair, and everybody's out to get you. And it's it's so hard for the common man to step up and get rich. And and the one percent are oppressing you. And the government is taking all the money away. And the taxes are there. And the Illuminati and every and and it, the Illuminati did 9/11, so you can't rise up. And it's all crazy gibberish." All these people have to do is get up, be a little bit uncomfortable, and go start doing things. They will see opportunity, they will grasp opportunity, they will take advantage of opportunity, and then they will give back. And then you'll create this like crazy upward spiral of helping each other while at the same time getting better at what you're doing, and while at the same time getting paid, and you take that money, you pour it back into your business, you grow even more, you help even more people. And that is as you, you can call me utopian and crazy and, and, and naive. That is how you make the world a tiny little bit better. But you need to start doing things. It is in your responsibility to find your passion, to find your purpose, but you gotta start trying things. <sighs> Rant, end. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> a good way to start trying things. Uh, number one, if you already know what you wanna do, kinda, but you don't know how to start, you don't know how to monetize it, then uh, there's a link in the description below. You can give us a call, you can jump on a free consultation call with us, click that link, and uh, you fill out the quick application, and then you can literally pick the time and date where you want us to call you. It's entirely for free, even if it's international. The other way, if you don't know exactly yet what you want to do, there's very likely some hidden challenge that you've overcome in your life, some hidden talent. And if you have someone that can find that talent, that can dig it out and show it right in front of you, it's a very great way to do it as well. And the best way to do that is also to jump on that same link that is down in the description below, jump on a call with us, because we can help you find something that you could potentially be good at, and then we can train you to get good at that, and then we can train you how to monetize that, and how to basically build a business that acquires you the freedom to go wherever you want, to do whatever you want, to work whenever you want, to work with whomever you want, and to be financially stable and free. There has been a great number of people who already clicked that link, who are now well on their way to make a four to five figure income per month. Some of them have that already, and they're very happy with that, and we're super happy to have helped them on their way to that. So that is the best way to do that. Understand that this video has been a complete waste of your time. It has been a waste of my time as well, unless you start taking action. You need to start taking action. Put your own life into your own hands and create things. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe talk to you very, very soon. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe underneath this video as well. GG.